What's up you guys, Jesse Peters here with No Limits Investing. Today I'm gonna to show you a super simple DIY, just how to put up farmhouse baseboard trim. So these are the boards that we're gonna be using. They're just regular one by four, nothing special, one by four pine. Um, these actually are 12 feet long, just works for what I need. Uh, I've been doing the whole house, but that's, I've got one more room left to go and I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. So. You can pick up these boards anywhere that lumber sold, Lowe's, Home Depot, your local place, wherever. Some other tools that you're going to need or want. I've um, got the air compressor here. I've got the brad nailer. Of course, we've got brad nails, tape measure, a pen, and a saw of some sort. This is the one that I'll be using. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a measurement. For your first cut, just go from the wall here and it's right at 41 inches. Now we'll get our board, take it out to the saw, mark it, and make our cut. Now once the cut has been made and you've got a good fit, so you see that's good. Next step, a little trick that I use. See right here there's a screw hole, right here there's a screw hole. What I'll do is I'll lay this down the way that I want it and I'll mark an X where these screw holes are. That tells me where my best bite is gonna be whenever I put this thing in. To shoot my nails to. Now, of course, there'll be a stud here. There'll be one on the end. So these two will give a good hold in the middle. Now these that I'm using are an inch and nine sixteenths. So plenty enough room. As you can see, a lot hangs over. So that gets a good hold in there too. So I'm sure somebody will get on to me about it, but uh, fancier people than me like to do their 45 degree cuts here. So you've got an angle. This is just a simple DIY. I want anybody who watches this to be able to do this, not have an excuse of why they can't. So I'm not gonna make it super complicated. Of course, my miter saw can cut those, um, but there's just no reason for them. I mean, this is farmhouse, it's supposed to be simple. I mean, this is what it's about. So this is gonna butt up right against there. I've already got this piece for this side by the closet. So I just need a piece that will fit in between there and it'll just butt up against that one too. Of course better because there's something in the way, but it'll be about right there. So I'm gonna make that cut. So we made the cut, let's see if we've got a good fit. Just about perfect to me. So we'll do the same thing it's right there in the middle. So we'll mark right here. Actually, we'll the other side. Our screw hole. So put that in place, and we'll tack it together. All right guys, so that's got this little section done up to the closet. That's what it looks like. So we'll continue right here to this corner, that wall, the long wall, then over to the door. Mm -hmm. 
Another trick, make sure that you are keeping your scraps, because this is just a scrap off of another piece, but it's more than long enough to be able to fit in this little corner. So this one we'll use. We've got another good fit.
But with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Uh, join the community as well. Hit subscribe and stay up to date with all of our videos. We do a lot of remodels on our flips and our rentals. Uh, try to vlog all of that stuff. I'll be doing more of these how-to videos as well. So if you got some entertainment, if you've got some knowledge out of it, please make sure that you follow along and subscribe. I also add some hyperlapse of the rest of the house, some of it getting done as well. So that'll be on the ending of it. But appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.